Hello and welcome, Paul here. And I am bringing you a quick look at Vermintide, or to be more precise, Warhammer End Times Vermintide. Now this game is developed by Fat Shark, the folks that bought us War of the Roses and Crater, along with a few others. Now, to break this game down, in case you don't feel like watching the entire thing, it takes many cues from Left 4 Dead, and it's based on Warhammer Fantasy. So with that said, let's get into it. Now I say it takes many cues from Left 4 Dead, because it does. It is very similar. You basically substitute the zombies for Skaven, get rid of all the guns, drop it into a very grim and dark world, and you have Vermintide, but Vermintide does so much more as well. They have a solid melee system, very responsive. The AI of the enemy is pretty scary in fact, especially when, because this game uses a director system. And the director is pretty damn good. Now I'm going to be drawing a lot of comparisons between this and Left 4 Dead, because as I said the games are very similar. And it makes sense because most people have played Left 4 Dead, so they'll understand where I'm coming from. But the, you never really felt like the director in Left 4 Dead, after you played it a little while, really did anything. It could have just been like randomly scripted, or events would happen at random, as in zombies would come from one corridor instead of the other, set by the director. Because it really didn't feel like it was doing anything. However, in this game, the director can mess you up so badly if you're not careful. If you split up from everyone else, the director's going to jump on you and send hordes of Skaven after you. At least that's been my experience so far. I'm really impressed with it. Anyway, I'm going to jump into the game, but before I do, I want to show you guys what are the classes. Now, we've got a hero select here. There are five heroes currently in the game. I believe there's been talk that more may come out down the road in the form of DLC, but let's quickly go over it. Here we have the Witch Hunter. He utilizes a rapier and pistol, and he can use dual pistols. We have the Way Watcher, who's a, or a Wood Elf, who's a Way Watcher. Basically, she uses a bow, can use dual swords or dual daggers. Now, I want to point out before I go any further that as you play this, you'll obtain new equipment, new weapons, uh, new trinkets, cosmetics, things like that. But some of the weapons do change uh, how you play. For instance, instead of using dual daggers, I've obtained dual swords on my Way Watcher. I've also obtained a single great sword, so it can change up quite a bit. So what you see here is not necessarily what you'll end up with after you play the game for a while. We've got the Dwarf Ranger, who primarily runs around with a crossbow, a hammer and a shield. The Bright Wizard, who uses a sword and also has a staff where she can do a lot of different fire spells. And again, the different staffs you can get changes what kind of attacks you do. And then we have the Empire Soldier, who runs around with a big hammer and has a blunderbuss of sorts. Now, I said that the Dwarf Ranger has a hammer and shield, as you can see here. I'm currently playing as the Dwarf Ranger, but he has an axe. So I've actually obtained this axe, whereas before I would just have a, a, a hammer by default. Same goes for the Empire Soldier in that little uh, selection screen. You saw him with a sword. He's actually got the hammer here, so you can get these different weapons. And if I show you my Way Watcher, dual swords also has the option of having a single sword. Now I know it's a great sword, it's actually a, a one-hander, but there you go. So there are different things. Now there's also a forge where you can break down components to get materials back. You can upgrade items and you can salvage. Now there's a lot more you can do with the forge. I'm still learning it myself. 
But anyway, we're going to jump into the game. It's time to raise the alarm and give the town a fight in chance. Now, we're going to jump in and do Horn of Magnus. Now, the story of this is that the town we're in has basically been invaded by Skaven. Now, those that don't know what Skaven are, they're basically uh, rat people, rat folk. Very nasty ones, in fact. So... The town is overrun by Skaven and everyone's asleep. Bloody catastrophe. Our alarm is the Great Big Horn in Magnus Tower, and you must go there and let the world know we're under attack. Check on the nearby guardhouse on your way, and with any luck, they can assist you. Thanks for that, barkeep. Come on! Now, as I was saying... One last blow. As I was saying... The Skaven are vicious little buggers. And we're going to be killing a lot of them. Now, I've just joined a game that's currently in progress. They're already a little ways through, and they appear to be... No, they're actually at the start, but for whatever reason, they're getting their ass kicked. Now, this is a rattling gunner. There we go. Took care of him. You! Get up! What on earth has happened here if you're all down already? Alright, now we've got to set free our allies. There we go. This game does a fantastic job at melee combat, as I said. Very responsive. There's a whole different bunch of their moves. From quick attacks, to hard bashes, to a couple of specials. But, um, yeah. No clue what's going on in this match, I believe. Someone appears to be AFK, and one person is dead. Doesn't matter. I'm a dwarf, and I'm ready to slay some rat folk. Some dirty Skaven. I've got the no, whole oh, health. I've hardly got any health. I need some healing stuff. Healing potions, medkits, whatever I can get my hands on. If I don't go down now. I'm still alive. Somehow survived. Now we need to set free someone and I need a healing potion. Whatever I can get my hands on. There's a chest. Now these chests sometimes contain items, this one did not. Now these missions play through very similar to Left for Dead. You'll start at one point, you've got to get to the other end. But they're a little bit longer than a typical Left 4 Dead mission. I'd probably it's say they're about buttons, I'll tell you that. the same length of half the campaign. Although it varies, it depends on your difficulty. It depends on which mission you're doing, of course. But from my experience so far, these haven't taken too long. But then again, I've had times when it's gone a long, long time because we've just been doing very poorly. So it can vary. Dead. We'll have to raise the alarm, Dory. Now we've got a loot die here. This is used to give you an extra dice roll at the end when you're rolling to get loot, which is pretty cool. And I feel that's what's gonna keep me coming back to do the, play this game. Alright. Crossbow's working well. Oh Christ. That's a uh, special Skaven, very similar to the Hunter the from Left 4 Dead, so I've got to be very careful here. There we go, kill the bugger. Let someone help you, wizard. Alright, now is this guy actually playing or is he AFK? That is the question. Alright, he appears to be moving, that's good. And we've got our friend up ahead. I need some health. 
I'm just gonna be very careful when dealing with these Skaven. I've gone down and my team can revive me if they're quick enough. Otherwise, I'll end up respawning in the world somewhere and I need to be uh, picked up by a friend. Very similar to how the closet system worked in Left 4 Dead. Come on, wizard! Fight that spike hammers! Look out! Get ready to hold your breath! There's a globadier about! Look out! Not entirely sure where they went, they may have just disconnected. Alright, there we go. Healing drought. Perfect. I'll do my best to try and kill as many scaven as I can, get to my allies, make sure we can get them back up. Try and recover this game that was currently in the progress. Okay, this is another special one. I forget his name, he's like a, a globe skaven. Because he throws globes of uh, poison. Which is quite nasty. Oh, hello. So yeah, sometimes you'll get these running about. They're basically uh, heavily armoured skaven patrols. And they are very dangerous. And we're going to be in a lot of trouble if we can't get out of here. Oh, I'm low on health. Bit of an FPS drop there. Alright, there we go. I'm still alive. Got to get to my ally way. My teammate is currently taking care of the enemy. Just in case anything goes wrong. Whether or not this person's AFK, I do not know. Let's see if they move. No, nope. AFK, wonderful. At least the witch hunter's here. So, Deus Mortem, shame on you for being AFK. Healing tools if you're feeling weak, Trangarazi. Alright, a medkit here, gonna quickly utilize it. Take the healing potion as well for our ally when we need it. Now these maps are really big. There's a lot of secret areas because you're expected to go and explore. You might be able to find tombs and then you can use tombs to give yourself more loot rolls at the very end if you can carry the tomb all the way to the end of, of the map. Which is quite a challenge. There can be no rest for us. Quite a challenge. Not yet. There's another gutter runner somewhere. I hear him sneaking about. Now I do apologise if I'm rambling a little bit. There is a lot to uh, cover in this game. But I will be doing more in-depth videos over time so make sure you head back to my channel I'll be doing videos on each class and checking out each map Clouds hide heresy, but an empty so be sure to check that out now I do wonder if it's possible you to stealth through a map like if you're very quiet and you move slow you remain undetected because that would be quite uh, interesting to do so now you can avoid those patrols like the one we just ran into. Ammunition. But yeah, each class is different enough to be interesting. I especially like the Bright Wizard, but I'll go more in depth on that in a later video. But that's the Bright Wizard there, setting stuff on fire like a champ. Anyway, we're about to get Get those explosives to the gate. Rushed. Come on, you scaven scum. I'm gonna buck a grudges that need filling. 
in this game is quite something, especially when you see Skaven crawl down from like rooftops and down the side of walls. It's very cool to see. I'll try to show you when I get the chance. We've got one more barrel we've got to transfer across. I'll try and keep all these guys on me and my bright wizard partner can take them down. Hopefully. Yeah, you can cut the scavens up. Cut off their limbs, tails, heads, arms. Watch the black blood fly everywhere. It's quite great. You made a woman smile with that strike. Not good. <laughs> I threw that in the right time. I'm a bit tankier than the others, but I'm slowly going down. I do have a healing potion I could use. Oh, the White Watch is back. Thank you. I may actually have a chance of doing this now. That wasn't half bad. Go, go, go. Go, 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 sir. Very good. There, in the distance, the Tower of Packers! Oh, saved him. Lovely arrow shot. the courtyard and all of the maps especially the ones inside cities look absolutely amazing the architecture the aesthetics very very warhammer very very grim dark and miserable as you'd expect it's lovely i like it all right let's keep moving let's keep moving Where am I? They're burning. I'm burned to death. Not burning to death quick enough. Oh no! Bad timing! Bad timing! Thank you. Saved by the Bright Wizard. Probably singed my beard a little bit. But I'm all key. I have to say the voice acting is quite pleasant. I don't normally care when characters are talking in these types of games. Like, didn't care when they talked in Left 4 Dead, but in this one, it's quite humorous. Punched him so hard, he got stuck in the door and stuff. All right, let's keep moving. We need to make our way to the horn, blow it, and warn the residents. Oh, is this a rat ogre? It sounds like a rat ogre. Oh, there's a lot of scaven coming. That was a joy to watch. I'm in a bad spot here. Try and get down to my team. Yeah, 
So shield charges or block charges, I should call them, do recharge over time. Now different class, uh, different classes, or different heroes have more or less charges depending on who they are. Of course, as a sort of tanky role, I'm going for. I've got more block charges than let's say the bright wizard. Anyway, I could do with getting a drink or a healing potion. That's what I mean. We'll go to the door on the right. Grace me with a healing potion. No. No. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Feel better now. I'll take the second one. May as well heal a bit more. Which hunter ignored it? Oh god, we are just hacking and slashing, maiming. Oh, it's glorious. The sound's very wet and meaty, it tends very nice. The blood looks great. Beautiful. Another loot die. Always good. Comes and finds me ready. Now we haven't come across a rat ogre yet. Then again, maybe we have, because I have no clue what took everyone down to spawn. Bright wizard going to work here, just setting fire to everything. Always cool to see. I'm going to try and keep him off the, uh, the witch hunter here. See if someone can get him back up. No mind, I'm going to tangle this guy. Oh, he went down after a shield bash. He was pretty weak. Escape the scum. I'll tell you what. Out of all the classes, I figured I wouldn't care about playing. The Dwarf Ranger was fairly high up there. But now that I'm actually playing him, he's a ton of fun. You literally just charge into the middle of the enemies. You bash them back. You can, I mean, they can just not touch you if you want them to. You know, if, you, if that's what you want. And then you can hack and slash them. Doesn't matter how many of them there are. You just destroy. It's fantastic. But I think I better drink a damage potion here. For this patrol. Nope, they took me down. They are very vicious, very dangerous. I mistimed that completely. There I was, breaking about the Dwarf Ranger. Well, I think that's more my fault than his. Enjoy this calm, glory. It won't last. More ammo here. Classes like the, the Way Watcher or the Witch Hunter will burn through ammo very quickly. And we need to make our way up there to the tip top, blow that horn, and get back there. Grab those bandages, Dory! Let's keep going. Yeah. Come on, rat. Saved your life. Well, will this darkness ever This end? does not look safe, I'm Even just saying that right now. The city looks gorgeous, look at that. Beautiful city. the witch hunt and got him. Listen. Glow that's deep. 
Oh, bomb. We might need that second bomb there. All right, hold my breath. So be it. Up the stairs. No. My duty is done. Struggling, my Oh God, the gore in this game is pretty spot on. I like it. We're still climbing. This is very, very high up. Do you see him jumping the fence there? Medical supplies. One med kit for the road. Another healing potion. I feel like I've got too much health to use it, but... Oh, is he where we can't get to him? Okay. Back to work, Victor. Oh, I hope it heals better than it tastes. We We got a strangler! Oh. Wire Watcher took the healing potion and med kit. Fair enough. Alright, let's get to the top. As the dwarf, I am designated to blow on this horn, as it should be. So this is sort of the finale. I've got to fend off the waves of Skaven. You're going to see him crawling all over this place here in a moment. So you see that? That is freaky looking. Anyway, I better get on the stairs when they impose on us. See, if I can keep them all launched up, the Bright Wizard can just do tons of damage. Nice AoE. I know I keep talking about the Bright Wizard, but the other two classes can sort of, you know, do well enough on their own. The Bright Wizard's very good on her own. I mean, she can just do tons of damage if the positioning's good. But I just feel that these two work very well together. That's all. Alright, so we managed to survive the, uh, the waves. We just need to get out of it. Now. But I've got a firebomb, let's use it. That was the firebomb. That's the firebomb. Oh no, I've gone down. Did everyone jump down? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Way Watcher, you better not be AFK. Get to the elevator, get down, get out of here, because we are not going to make it. Start running. Think then you, don't know what they're doing. Oh dear. We're about to get destroyed here in the moment. Yeah, we kind of got overwhelmed there. Wait, watch her. Run. There we go. Oh, my bad. There I am, talking all this smack, and it's just that they weren't up yet. He's going to wait for the witch hunts to die. Fair enough. You're doing a fantastic job, Wait, watch her. I take it all back. Here's me not knowing about the game. Witch Hunter, kindly die. There we go. Oh, he could have just run out there and got us up. Probably not worth the risk though. Dodger, this wasn't safe. Take them all. Have they no sense of discipline? So the one who was AFK at the start is the last one to survive. God damn it. Let's go. Let's go. At the end of every mission, you'll have to get into one of these carts to get away. If you lose, you'll still get XP, but you won't get your loot reward. Now, the loot reward looks something a little like this. 
Now, I found one of the bonus die. Unfortunately, the tombs that you can find and carry with you to the end... Well, the witch hunter died, lost it when he died. So we don't get an extra dice here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and roll. Whatever face is up is what gets counted. So we've got three, so we'll get this here. Is anything good? A hammer. Two-hander, maybe? Oh, there we go, a hammer and shield. Very nice. Now I can use this on the Dwarf Ranger. I didn't do too bad here. I got a pretty high score, bunch of headshots, 191 kills. I was laying the smack of down on all of the Skaven, which was quite nice. Anyway, that's it from there. This was my quick look at Vermintide. I know it wasn't very quick, and I was kind of all over the place, as I've said before. There's a lot of information to go over in this game, and I'm going to be doing more videos which are a bit more in-depth, a bit more calm and collected. And we'll show off each class and each mission. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. Until next time.